Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories as always. I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, checking out arguably, in my opinion, the shoe of the year 2021. It's none other than the Air Jordan 3 collaboration with Ama Manier. Let's check them out. All right, so if you are into Jordans, you probably already know or at least are aware of the Amamanier Jordan 3s. There's had a lot of talk and hype around these online with an exclusive release in the United States uh, over the last sort of six weeks. I think there's been a staggered release around three different releases, in fact, uh, but they are set to get a global release this coming Saturday, the 22nd of May uh, in South Africa here, just on sneakers, of course, for 3,499 Rand. Now, this particular pair I got from the States, bought it on the aftermarket, at an insanely high price <laughs> because I didn't actually know they were going to get a global release uh, so I kind of bit a little bit early on that but I really don't really mind too much because it is a shoe that I would have probably paid any amount of money for because it is that good in hand. Now when I speak about these things being sure of the year it's not just the physical materials the makeup and the design of this particular Air Jordan 3 it's really the story that comes behind uh, the creation and the inspiration behind the design and the different touch points that we will get into in this review. But James Whitner, the head of the Whitaker Group, which owns Amamanier's social status and I think a couple of other different retailers and other projects that he has, he basically wanted to create a shoe that was completely general neutral from a design perspective. You know that women shouldn't have to design specifically for women and men shouldn't have to design specifically for men. There should be some kind of neutrality there and that is exactly what's come into here. The inspiration behind the shoe isn't just one of those collaborations where it's like a story that's kind of made up and you know we kind of just go with that generally on it. This really comes from the roots of his upbringing with a lot of inspiration drawn directly from his mother in specific details over here uh, in the shoe which we'll show you now. But overall speaking this is theoretically a woman's shoe however was created in extended sizes so men can enjoy the shoe as well and that's exactly what's happened in the marketplace it's so neutral it's something that everybody can get in on and I think that was specifically uh, the output that was desired when creating the shoe now before I get into the details of this I have to start with the box this is literally one of the coolest boxes I've ever seen here you've got the Amamanier step and repeat logo here done in this clear plastic sleeve which basically covers the box uh, so if I take that out over here you'll see just how awesome that is it just like adds a whole nother level of premium nature to this collaboration and the collaboration itself and then the box itself is this jordan logo over here on the top the jump man with the flight in the script underneath also just done in a gray on this white sort of glossy top opening box uh, and then in around the base of it that is completely just gray uh, you do obviously have the size tag over there um, but the rest of the box is just kept completely plain inside of the box you've got that Amma Manier step and repeat logo here as well uh, it's done on a semi-transparent paper it's very very nice which obviously wraps the shoes but onto the shoes themselves uh, I don't really know where to start with this it is just one of the more beautiful and really good quality pairs that I've seen with the Jordan 3. Now most Jordan 3s are really good quality. They do come at an increased price point. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this review, these will be 3,500 Rand here in South Africa via sneakers on the 22nd of May. They are $200 in the States and I think around 170 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in the UK, who will also be getting this release on the 22nd of May. But into the details of the shoe and starting with the outsole of the shoe, you've got three different colors here, a white, a darker gray and a lighter gray represented on the standard Air Jordan 3 outsole. And then flipping into the midsole, this is where you see that aged coloring come in here uh, towards the bottom section of this midsole and the bubble there as well which is done kind of like an off-white yellowy uh, it's a darker than sale color but it gives it that immediate vintage look uh, on the midsole and then they've used some of the hits of that in the upper and the heel section of the shoe but staying with the midsole the rest of the coloration there is done in a white and then you've got this beautiful hit of mauve here in and around the heel section of the shoe which wraps all the way into the medial side and then just stepping things up to the upper of the shoe premium tumbled white leather has been used throughout the majority of the upper over here they have left the edges raw as well which is one of my favorite details on this particular three it just like 
just stay to the part like it's not that like usual kind of finish leather it's got this very vintage and authentic feel to it to touch and the coloration of that raw sort of leather over here and that brownie texture just really adds to the coloration overall to the shoe now towards the toe section the heel the heel collar and the eye stays section over here they've used a shaggy gray suede it is very nice to touch it feels super premium it really looks good and, and ties in really well with the rest of the coloration and then swinging to the lace section of the shoe the shoes do come with a waxy sort of white lace that's provided in the shoes uh, they do also provide you with a second set of laces over here which is this other color that they've used in the shoe in the midsole and the eyelets maybe a little bit darker than that but I can see these working really nicely within the mix as well the really nice thing about the laces and the first sort of design touch point over here here. you do have on the aglets little messaging and that's on both sets of the laces where it says work harder now that I believe is a nod to Kev Chow who's an employee of the Whitaker group I gather he probably uses that saying a hell of a lot uh, but that's represented on both sets of the laces really nice messaging there I really like that I'm all about that stuff as well so that just brought through in the aglets of the shoe now further up to the tongue section of the shoe, you do have the Jumpman logo, which has been beautifully embroidered here in gray on this white tumbled leather tongue. And that's on the right shoe. On the left shoe over here, you've got this Ama Manier A logo over here. It looks seriously clean. Like not often you see on a Jordan 3, like something different from an embroidery perspective that's not like a Jumpman or whatever. It's really, really nice to see that come through in this collaboration. And then just to swing around to the heel section of the shoe over here, you've got that aged sort of yellowing done in that translucent heel tab with a gray Nike Air logo done in the heel. So it's no Jumpman in the heel, it is the Nike Air branding in case you guys are wondering. But this is where the hidden details and the real storytelling and grassroots sort of storytelling of this come into play. When you flip these little heel tabs back, you do have some beautiful messaging over here. In fact, conflicting messaging on both shoes. Uh, this particular one says, all we have is each other. And then on the right shoe, I believe it's kind of an opposite message. It says, uh, you have to be comfortable walking alone. So now that is actually done in the handwriting of James Whitaker's mother. Uh, two sort of sayings that she said when he was growing up, I believe, uh, at least from what I've read online. Uh, but a really nice messaging there. I think like the whole story behind that is, you know, when you're growing up and you don't have like massive support structure or anything like that, all you have is each other. However, when you do grow up and get your own sort of individual personality, you need to be able to be comfortable walking alone and sort of like pledging your own path and all of that. So some really strong messaging coming in. It's not something that's like kind of just been made up and thrown on a shoe for like collab effort or whatever. Like this is real stuff, uh, which definitely you can feel like comes from the heart in the inspiration of the design of this. Now what sets these shoes really apart from the rest has to be the interior lining of the shoes. So the sock liner and the reverse of the tongue are done in this quilted silvery gray satin finish over here. It's super premium. It like, it just, it really, really stands out in hand here. It's like, it's one of my favorite things here. It just, it just really looks absolutely amazingly premium. Um, I'm gonna pull out the insoles for you over here. So the insoles are quite thick, sort of normal Jordan 3 insoles that you get. Uh, I'm gonna pull this one out here as well so you can see both logos on it. Uh, but on the right hand side, you do have the Jumpman logo just in the heel there, done in white. And then if you didn't guess already, the Ama Minier logo here on the left. So really just tying in uh, all the sort of collab branding uh, onto the shoes itself. Some final little details over here, just the hang tag here is obviously done in the matching colors. It's a very sort of dark gray, maybe a little bit of mauve in there as well with the Nike Air hang tag. And then you're also given this Ama Manier sort of card that's attached to this hang tag over here. And that basically just says like, quality goods handled with care, inspired by street culture, fashion, and the greatest athlete in history. Uh, and it's got the season number and then approved by, I guess, I don't know whose signature that is, but maybe James Whitner or someone big at Nike. So overall speaking, it's an absolutely incredible pair with an incredible authentic story behind it. Like huge shout out to Ami Minier. They really are like probably one of my favorite retailers in the world. Uh, I've been following them since they opened. I've got quite a few different collaborations, mostly with their stuff, with Adidas that they've done in the past. But every single thing they seem to do is just incredible. In fact, their one store, I think it's got like apartments above it that you can rent that have like cause pieces and all of this kind of stuff. They're really just like art thinking on another level. And I think this particular release, especially by women, was received incredibly well, at least from what I've seen on Instagram and social media, the likes, all of that. You know, it's just something that feels so right 
So hopefully we get to see more of these cool collaborations coming down in this particular way down the line. If you haven't managed to get your hands on a pair of these, you are gonna have to look to the aftermarket if you don't come right on Saturday, the 22nd of May, when these will receive their global release. So on the resale market, you are looking anywhere. The prices have kind of like started really high, like to around, around $1,000, and now they come down to around $500, depending on size. But I think anywhere right now, as of today, shooting this review, you can pick up a pair between like $300 and around $700, depending on size. Now, obviously, this is one of these shoes that I do think is just gonna skyrocket over time uh, in terms of value. I'm honestly thinking of just doubling up on a second pair because I just cannot wait to put these on my feet. And I know it's one of those pairs that I wanna wear a hell of a lot, so fresh pair in the closet will definitely be of value to me. So I would definitely get in while the prices are still relatively low after this global release uh, before they start climbing again. But that is it for my review of the Air Jordan 3 Amma Meunier collaboration. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, found it helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe right here for more content, reviews, and unboxings down the line. But that is all from me for today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.